Hello, my name is Caleb, and I'll be demonstrating the first public release of Easy Envelopes, which is a customizable envelope system that allows you to take control of your money and track where it's being used. This application mimics a physical envelope system, but in a digital format for ease of use and flexibility. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and log in here, and we'll sign up. And for email address, we'll just do joe at jim.com. We'll put in a secret, secret password. And we'll go ahead and continue. Now we're here logged in. We're going to notice there's nothing in. It's all empty. And this is where you can customize uh, to your liking. But I'll just go ahead and demonstrate one way of setting this up. So first off, before we add an account, we need to add a category and some envelopes in there so that when you do create an account, you can put your starting balance into an envelope. We'll click on the Create or Plus button here. We're actually going to select a category, and typically for any sort of income, I like to put like a category of system, and then put in an envelope of income and transfers. Income obviously gets your puts all of your income into that, and then you can divvy that out as you please. And then transfers are usually any sort of transfer type transactions that will eventually be nullified, so it's just easier to put them all in one spot there. So we'll go ahead and put an envelope, we'll create a system, and we'll do income, and then we'll go ahead and create transfers, and then from there we'll go ahead and add an account, I'm going to call this checking, and say the starting balance is 2500 And we'll put in income because that'll be where our in our balance is, and then we'll divvy it out from there. So okay, and notice now 2,500 is now under income. So that from there, we're going to show that if I want to transfer it to another account, we'll see that here. So well, first, we'll go ahead and create a new category, and we'll call it general, and then we'll create an envelope. Inside of general, and we'll do groceries. All right, and then to transfer, click the plus again. Transfer, and we're going to go from income to groceries. And let's just say we'll do $250. All right, now we've got that transferred in. Once we do that, let's go ahead and just make a transaction under groceries so let's just say we're going to do a transaction so it's today we didn't use a check but we're going to assign it to the checking account let's just say walmart walmart and say it is eighty dollars and we'll go groceries from there you see um i actually forgot that <laughs> one thing i didn't do is i made it a positive instead of a negative so we'll go ahead and edit that we didn't get money from Walmart we actually uh, paid money to Walmart so now if we go back to the envelopes you'll see that now it's correctly defined there if we go into groceries you can see all of the transactions for that envelope and same thing with with accounts once we get that far um, so the next piece is I'm going to show you how you can see all on assigned transactions. So if we go to transactions, these are all of the transactions so far. We have a starting balance and we have a Walmart transaction. Under our accounts, you can see we have the checking account that we created and the balance there is 2,500 minus the 80. You can click on checking and you can see that same, those same transactions here. But under transactions, if we go ahead and just create one more transaction, and let's just say that gas wherever you get your gas let's go negative um, $50 and we're not going to target an envelope right now because we don't we don't really have a fuel or gas type envelope click, click OK you notice we have a, a transaction that's not assigned well if I want to target those that are unassigned go ahead and just check the checkbox and it shows those so you can easily um, divvy those up and uh, select an envelope for there. 
uh, because we don't have auto, auto gas or a, some sort of fuel envelope. We won't do that for now. Uh, but we can go ahead and just create an envelope first. So we'll put in general, auto, auto, whoops, cat, uh, gas. Now we go here, auto gas, perfect. And we'll save that. From there, if we toggle that, you'll see that we have no unassigned transactions. Now go ahead and go into the budgeting piece. Under budgeting, you'll see we have our general category and our envelopes. We go ahead and budget, let's just say we need 650 per month for food and let's just say $50 per month for gas. From here, we can select if they are necessity or not. Foods are necessity and then also uh, gas would be necessity. So now you can see for our currently selected necess necess necessary items, um, as you can see, there's $700 under necessities. And that's because we selected those two. And so far there's 700. Under there, now let's go ahead and go to income profiles. Income profiles are where when you drop all of your income into the income envelope, you can use these profiles to divvy up uh, money using these profiles from your income uh, envelope into your other envelopes. And so here, so far the 650 for groceries and 50 for auto gas. This little button here allows you to, to easily divvy up between profile one and profile two, mainly for you know, two paychecks per month. And if you wanted to have a third one, there's a third one here too. So here you can see that it split that out. And then also under income, let's say you make $2,500 a paycheck. So do that here. And there we go. Now that will reflect well, and you can see how much more you can divvy up or put into savings. All right, so once you have the income profiles set, you then can use those profiles to fund, and we'll show that here. So we'll go to envelopes, and before that, we'll make one transaction. And this will be from checking, and we'll say work, it's us getting paid, us getting paid. And then we'll go 2,500. We'll put that under income. All right, from there, now you see you have income, so now you can divvy this up. We'll click on fund. You can see the profiles you have, where the money will come from. Usually that's under income or elsewhere if you want to select that. I'll just select profile one. And here you can see what's under profile one. You can change those amounts if you want to. You can add or remove them. And then you go ahead and click OK. And then there it goes. Now it divvied that money up. If you go into groceries, you can see that now we've transferred another um, W250 here, right? And if we go to, actually, sorry, 375. If we go back to auto gas, you can see that we added um, 25 for that profile. So that's so far what I have built into Easy Envelopes. I'm going to be adding more, like um, some automatic transaction importer from your bank account. Uh, but uh, one other thing that is currently working but may have a few bugs is importing CSVs. And so just by clicking this button, then you can select your account and you can open up your CSV. And now you can select uh, what fields from that CSV you want to map to the, the system fields. So your date, just find your date here. You can either have this particular one, you have posting date or effective date. Um, I'll just do posting date. It shows you a little preview here. Under pay, um, I believe for this one it's description. So I'll tell you what you have there. Description, there's an extended description. And you just have to play around with this and figure out what you want uh, for these fields and obviously the amount. You want amount and check if there's a check number involved. Um, then you click, click OK, and they go ahead and add those. And then you can go ahead and assign them by using the show unassigned, and then it goes from there. So um, that you might have some errors when you do that, but uh, just feel free to reach out, and I can fix those. Uh, banks might have different uh, formats for the CSVs.
and um, so I might need to tweak things here and there. But uh, otherwise, go ahead and feel free to use it and uh, let me know if you have any feedback. Totally appreciate you listening and hope to talk to you soon.